Carl Hayden High School is headed to another international championship. The team first became famous back in 2004 after they beat several college robotics teams, including one from MIT. But they've also become the unofficial mascots for the DREAM Act, since many of them are undocumented immigrants. William Pitts joins us with more. William? Yeah, you hear a lot about the brain drain, and these kids are very, very smart, but a lot of them will never get a chance to use that knowledge here in the U.S. because they're undocumented. Now, students on this team started the push for the DREAM Act, and robotics comes first, but it's always done with one eye on the students who came before. That's Carl Hayden High's robot, number 842. Right now, it's running itself. This year's challenge, build a bot that plays ball with and without a driver. You had to grab balls, shoot them, score them. You get points for that. Play out the entire thing. And it all started right here. You can just space it out. A converted office that's the brain center of the team. Stephanie Ramirez does all the wiring. It's woman dominated in our team. No guys do it. Which is good because I like power. Robotics are expensive. Carl Hayden's team is self-funded. When they go to competitions, they look like underdogs, but they don't mind. The robot, you know, looks like it was machined at a, at a factory with uh, everything color-coded and everything. And our robot looks like it came out of a, a lab just recently and uh, is a prototype. This is one of the robots, Angelica's dream. It's named after a former student, a famous one. She's a valedictorian in ASU in the College of Engineering. So we we're really proud of her on that, and we decided to name the robot after her. Angelica Hernandez was president of the team, graduated last year with an engineering degree. And like many members of the team, her parents brought her here illegally when she was a kid. Now she's a primary supporter of the DREAM Act. And she's got a twin in ASU, and she still can't get a job. Coach Freddie Lajvardi never intended to lead a team of poster children for immigration reform. But in a school that's more than 90% Hispanic, it just happened. That wasn't any focus at all. It's just one of the things that, you know, our school's in that situation, and uh, we're doing the best to educate the kids that we get. And the kids are carrying their dream on, <laughs> one part at a time. Now, the next competition is in April in St. Louis. It's the championship round. William Pitts, 12 News.